what I want peeps so my third item is a air fryer and this is the towel one and again it's from Argos it's apparently got a three year guarantee on it it says lose the fat and not the flavour I'm actually going to do a review on this because um, wouldn't it be great to actually have tasty fried food that's not actually covered in fat so I will be doing some fried sweet potato fries uh, I've got carrot fries in my fridge actually so I might test that out as well and yeah so let's see what it's <laughs> Says in the box. This is all new to me. I've never even opened the box because I haven't got time at the moment. But um, it's a tower over 100 years. It's quite big. I didn't really expect it to be this big. 4.5 liter air fryer. What the hell? Okay, that's a lot. Um, great British design innovation and excellence since 1912. This is what it looks like. Let's turn over the box because I have no clue. I've not opened the box at all and I'm not going to at the moment, but I might do a review and test it out because there's a lot of vegan stuff I can fry actually. <laughs> so let's see. That says tower over 100 year healthy fry revolutionary what's it say here so without okay that's some other pots there's some other bits and pieces so it says here metal spinners was founded by Jodie oh nonsense I ain't got time to open the box now but I will do so yeah one more turn see what it says on the other side see if there's anything worth looking at on the other side oh yeah here you go this is what I was really looking for so it says here Prepare healthier fried food with a little oil or none. Great for frying, roasting, grilling and baking. Okay, up to 80% less fat with the same great taste. Temperature control. Rapid air circulation system allows faster f cooking and saves energy. 4.3 4 litre capacity non-stick food pot. 60 minute manual timer. Easy clean parts. 150 watt power. Fantastic. And this is what's on the box. You'll love it. You'll love how it works. Simple to use manual controls, generous for public capacity, easy energy, healthier fried food. Is fried food really can be really be healthy though? Can fried food really be healthy? Because what it's been coated in is made to taste better with all the fatty ingredients. So frying it, I don't know. That's a bit, that's another debate. Comment below and let me know what you think. Can it be? healthier fried food without the oil and frying it via air rather than in oil can it be healthier but anyway we love to hear from you blah 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 anyway so that's what it looks like and um on what i go on peeps so here's the instructions for the tower uh it says safety instructions and manual so let's have a look so that's what it looks like that's that's what it comes with Structure, structure, oh, specifications, work light, power light, air let, basket, basket handle, basket handle release, and it's actually really safety conscious as well because you can't just release the basket, you have to literally take the basket out and then push the plastic bit back and then press the button to release the actual basket out of the actual main container. So it's actually really quite good because I've tested it. So that's the model, make and model, power consumption. Ooh, but it does sing so fast that you know you're not burning very much current to be fair. So let's have a look. It says important safety information. Boring, let's pass that <laughs> before first use. Using your appliance, switch automatic switch off. What I did notice on there, but the actual appliance itself hasn't got an on-off switch. It only starts up when you turn the timer. So there's like a timer on there. So you can set the temperature and then it starts when you turn the timer. So if you want 10 minutes, you turn the timer to 10 minutes and that's when it starts. Before that time, it just completely off. None of the lights are on or anything. And it goes between cooking and warming. It's really weird. So let me show you on here. 
I'll show you the lights. So you see there with the lights, one and two is working light and power light. So there you go. So one is working light, one is power light. So you'll suddenly see the working light go off and it would just be the power light. So it's like it switches itself off when it gets a bit too high and then it turns back on again when it's, I don't know, if it's if it gets too warm or something, I don't know. So, using your appliance, automatic switch off, removing the basket, preparing for use. Okay, so, yeah. And it's so easy to clean as well, because I've cleaned it already as well. And these are the guidelines for the different types of food. So, um, food types, fries, potatoes. Trust me, it does quicker than that. You have to keep, literally pull it out and keep an eye on it, because if you don't, it gives you the temperatures. If you don't, they will burn. So, I set them for 10 minutes and I pull it out because you can what the minute when you put pull the basket out it stops working but the timer keeps going so you take it out shake it and then push it back in and it'll start again it's fantastic it's very safety conscious as well it's just I wish I hadn't bought an, that size though it's too big for one person too big for one person but yeah this is the this is the thing um, the actual um, frying guide and I just did I put my my um, actual samosas in, I set it for 10 minutes, but in actual fact it did it in five. Everything is doing in five minutes, isn't it? <laughs> but, and it's fantastic. It came out really nice and crispy. It was really hot though. And I'm, I just, whoever thought of this technology was a genius because, but mind you, I'm one of those, I love a gadget. I'm a gadget queen. I, I, I if you feel the amount of gadgets I've got in my kitchen is ridiculous. I've got a spiralizer. I've got my three in one juicer blender. I've got a popcorn machine. I've got my um, what do you call it? My food processor. I I've got every gadget known to man. I've even got a dehydrator. I've got a dehydrator. I've got every gadget. But anyway, I'm leaving off the topic. I'm going off the topic. So yeah. So it gives you all these guidelines, and I guess you need to judge for yourself as well. So look, you can do cakes in there. Cakes, quiche, muffins, sweet snacks, stuffed vegetables, frozen breaded crumbed cheese snacks, frozen fish fingers. Not that's, that's really going to happen in my one, but there you go. Drumsticks. So it's, how long is that? That's the grams. 25 to 30 minutes. See, with all these are just guidelines, I would check and just keep going, troubleshooting. Now, we shouldn't be looking at this, really, because we shouldn't have to be troubleshooting. How long do I have to leave the air fryer to cool before s storing it? We recommend leaving the air fryer 35 to 40 minutes to cool after storing. Okay. And I'm just so impressed with it. No oil whatsoever. Oh, that's about cleaning and disposal. Do not... Emerging water. Now, if you if, if you were silly enough to do that, you don't deserve to have one. I merged your whole thing in the um the pan and the basket are waterproof. The pan and basket are wa are dishwasher proof. Oh, fantastic! I mean, I've rinsed mine out, but um yeah. So there you have it. That's the instructions. Hasn't actually given you any recipes, but it's giving you. Oh, that's useful. The weights and measures. So you can actually figure it out. US cups, imperial, metric. That's useful because I'm always looking for the difference. But yeah, and it's got a three year guarantee on it. So there you have it, folks. There's the instructions. And um, I sh I'm going to show you next how I test it. I'm going to use my samosas in there and I'm going to do comparisons and baking it in the oven. I know it's not much of a comparison, but what I should have done was fried it. I mean, nothing beats it frying it in oil, but I really didn't want it in the oil. That's the whole point of having an air fryer. So I can do it between the two, either bake it in the oven or do it in the air fryer. So we'll see which one's better. So I'll be back, peeps. What's I go on, peeps? So I'm going to put two of them in the air fryer to test it how it does in the air fryer because I've tried chips. I've tried burgers, that's the run of the mill isn't it? But this is like phyllo pastry and apparently you can make cakes, muffins, everything in here and you can put your own actual dishes like your plates and stuff in there. Like for example like small muffin tins you can put in there and everything else and this is quite big. So um, let's try these and see how they come out. I'll be back peeps. 
What I go on piece, what I go on, I actually finally finished all the filo pastry. But what I did was, was I doubled up on it. So I did two sheets per samosa. So these are the ones that came out of the air fryer. And these are the ones that were baked in the oven. And you know what? The ones that were in the air fryer, they cooked quicker. And they came out nicer. But the filling is exactly the same. It's just that for some reason, these ones are a little bit more... What's the word? Not runny, but a little bit more porous. They're a little bit more. They haven't got as much crunch. Maybe it's the crunch I like, but it hasn't got as much crunch. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Look, I'm going to give it a crunch. Look at that. And I'll tell you what, that filling you could have as a mash by itself, it tastes that good. I'm going to have to stop myself. I'm going to have to put some in the freezer and um, quickly before I eat the whole lot because they taste. That filling is so good. I think in hindsight, I should have done a kick. Just a little kick of pepper. But they don't need it really. It's just if you're a pepper person, then it might need a kick. But I'll tell you what, that filling is fantastic. You've got to try it. And it's dead easy. Just go out the road and buy yourself some Just Roll or some puff, some filo pastry. I've got puff pastry as well. And next time I'll show you how I make my pizza. But um, it's in the freezer. I just take it out when I need it. And um, yeah. So the air fryer did a better job, I think, than the oven. So that's my verdict, peeps. And these, it's an experiment. It's the first time I'm trying it. I had the filo, I had the filo pastry. It's fantastic. I'll be doing a lot more with the air fryer. Because apparently it makes cakes and all sorts of nonsense. But yeah, that's my Junk Food Friday. And my verdict is, it's a serious thumbs up for the air fryer. Because it's a huge difference. Can you see the difference? How crispy that is. And then, there you go. Fantastic. Check you later, peeps. And not everybody I go like we I go like Still we iry Come in all of the likes mm? In a dance all style